Vancouver's out wandering again, heading towards Fort Flagler. It's on like a peninsula. I'll show you if something's pretty along the way or when we get there. As most places in the Olympic Peninsula, the drive is really pretty. The nature is really pretty. So we're going along this windy road, just enjoying life and glad to be out experiencing some new sights. As always, I'll do some live rambling, some edit rambling, and some music for you. Anderson Lake Road. Miles. Turn left on the road. I'm really trying not to show too much of this, but it is a beautiful drive along here. This is Misery Bay State Park. Some of the neat part when traveling is just the stuff you find that you weren't really expecting. It's just for boats. Pay station. Yeah, it looks like it's just they probably have boat hookups they have to pay for. That was Misery Bay State Park. You're welcome. Here is another stop along the way. So this is actually Indian Island. That's a Navy magazine there. And across there is Indian Island County Park. We're gonna go see some of it. Then we're gonna go down that road. It's not a peninsula, it's like a U-shaped island. And then alarms started going off. Sirens started going off, so I left. <laughs> I'll say it again, along the way you just find unexpected beauty all the time. This is just a regular little spot along the way to Fort Flagler that was cool. So, as I said, this part now to the right over here is on an island. It's like a U-shaped island. Kind of pretty here in Washington State, isn't it? You see these signs around a bit. This is Fort Flagler State Park. Half a mile. Turn left onto Flag All right, we made it to a really nice little state park. I'll throw in some music and there'll be more narration for you. We had the state park pass, which is really a good deal money-wise, so we didn't have to stop and wait. redwoods but they're pretty tall also I again apologize for the lighting it comes and goes but that's how real life goes and this is where they used to store munitions All right, we made it to the beach and day use area, and we'll be coming up on the camping area, which hopefully some people enjoy. It looked pretty good to me, and I'll show you as much of it as I can. We'll drive through the campground. This area in most places appear to be full hookups, so that is cool. The sites weren't huge, and but they weren't also on top of each other. It seemed like you had a decent amount of space, especially with location, location, location. The prices were pretty much standard Washington State campground state park prices, which aren't that bad. They're reasonable.
So that was the campground GoPro stop. This is the uh, wooded section of the campground. They have two sections. The ocean front seemed to be electric and this seemed to be rustic. There's nice views here if we can find a parking spot. It's pretty right there. Got some trees in between you, but this section seemed to be mostly set up for tent camping. Maybe if you got a class B, you could sneak it in, but the sites weren't very big. But that's fine. I think you'd have to work hard to not be able to see the beauty in both type of camping opportunities here. Yeah, it's pretty full. What's not here is reserved, but that was the wooded section. GoPro, stop recording. So these buildings are part of the uh, Fort Flagler Retreat Center. I'm guessing these are buildings back from the fort, but these look like people's houses. That's like some place. And the rest of them look empty. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand. But it's pretty. Oh my god, it's pretty. This cliff had a little height to it, but some really nice views too. Just a stunning area. So this is a cliff. Looks pretty far enough down. I wonder if we can get out to that. Whatever that is. This area is basically the start of Puget Sound, so amazing, stunning, shocker. So we're going down this steep hill to the beach. This is the entrance to the Puget Sound, right? That's what that says. Hiking, boating, kite flying, beach exploration, saltwater fishing, plant digging, crabbing, paragliding. That's as close as you get to the fish center, but the shoreline was beautiful. Alright, around here there's supposed to be gun emplacements or something like that. There's a seal. See it? Oh, yeah. An otter. He's got something in his oh, mouth. So we've come to the end of another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed. Fort Flagler looks like a great place to camp and stay if you get the chance. You'd have a great and wonderful day.